Ladies and gentlemen, today is Sunday, which means it is full challenge day in Marvel Strike Force, and I thought we'd do a mega challenge video today, where we're going to take on tier 9 of every single challenge. Now, some of these, uh, I've already done the gold and also medical supply run on the channel already, but I'll do, like, a uh, run at each one of those at the end of the video. Uh, however, some of these we haven't done ever before, and some of them I did yesterday as well, and we got some very, very cool stuff to share. Uh, but I think we're going to start with the two that I haven't actually attempted on tier 9 yet, which is the Ability Enhancements and also Training Day, and I think because the Ability Enhancements is the biggest one, man, because look at that. Uh, three more materials every single run for T3. That is going to stack up very, very nicely uh, every time it comes around. So we are going to go for this, and the requirement uh, are controllers and also protectors, and I remember... Uh, the one before this being like super, super annoying. However, some of those powerful characters, like, you know, we, we should have a fairly solid team to get this one done. I think we're also going to bring in Hawkeye, maybe Crossbones instead of Drax. I mean, this is pretty much looking like my uh, my arena team at the moment. Uh, do we have to worry too much about positioning? Maybe a, maybe a little bit. Maybe let's put Quake in the middle, uh, put Crossbones at the back, and let's all go, also go for Captain America there. But we'll figure this one out. We'll see if it's going to be too difficult, but I think this one, in terms of characters, man, we have some uh, proper, proper good options available in terms of the controllers and also tanks. Uh, so we're going to start this off, because if I if I use the speed up at the start, Strange is just going to reverse it, so I think we just need to go ahead and uh, attack into Strange, try and get him down as quickly as possible, because, uh, yeah, whatever buffs we, uh, we put up, if we've got them up, Strange is just going to reverse them in absolutely no time. However, this is uh, looking increasingly more and more like an arena match here. So, again, if I do the speed up, man, I'm just going to get a little bit... just going to get flipped and slowed down by Strange. Oh, he's such a he's such a threat behind his hand sentry there. Uh, so we got Evade up. But I'm going to go ahead just use the explosion there. Because then when Quake's Earthquake comes up, it means we can use that. So that's what we usually do in Arena, just to uh, help us get all those evade charges off as well. So it does seem like a little bit of a waste, but, you know, if we get a second explosion on Crossbones, it can be worth it there. And let's go ahead and use the blind, because that should also hit the targets in stealth. And uh, takes Mordo's turn away. We can use the area of effect on Quake. Oh my gosh, my Quake was blinded. I'm such an idiot. Uh, but now is the time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to speed up, get that Doctor Strange down go for... Oh, we got Wasp next. I'm not too sure of Wasp's full abilities, but I think we'll go for... We'll get Mordo down, right? We'll get those blinds out of the way, because the blinds are going to be really, really annoying if they persist. Okay, that's his ultimate ability there. I want to get him down before his next blind, and then I think we'll go for Wasp and then, uh, I don't know, Ant-Man's a bit of a pain in the ass as well. Wasp, Vision, Ant-Man, uh, they all need to die, as well as Mordo. Right, Mordo's stunned. Ant-Man's uh, pounded him down there. Oh, damn. Some of these lads are taking a bit of a beat in here. Um, okay, do we want to attack into Wasp now? Yeah, this this could have been um, maybe preserved or better saved if I had... Uh, what is it? Use my Quakes. Area of Effect. Ultimate. A little bit better, man. <laughs> oh, mistakes were made. But anyway, let's fire off the slow here. I think we can still get this free star. Come on, get hand sentry down. Um, and we're just going to sort out this vision while he's fairly low health as well. Come on, mate. This is, uh, this is going to be the definition of coming in clutch if we manage to get this done. Manage to get Ant-Man, uh, blinded. All oh, Doctor Strange has been revived here. Um, can we, what's the, what's the best play here? Okay, I'm hoping for the chain on. Okay, awesome, we got the chain on there. Where did that hand sentry come from, man? I swear we're all done with other waves. Okay, come on. Captain America, you gotta stay alive. You are on your uh, your last legs there. Come on, Quake. Let's have a little bit of that earthquake. Okay. Um, I mean, it's one wrong hit in any direction, and our character is a little bit wrecked. Oh, no crossbones. He's gonna pull it through. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Three stars the very first time. That is, uh, yeah, a, uh, a very, very uh, annoying one. But not as annoying as some of the other ones. I think the most annoying one, which we're going to see in a moment, is the blaster challenge. But yeah, we've made a few mistakes, but our characters are really, really stacked. But just as a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, these ones are apparently balanced for level 65 and gear tier 11. And currently, level 65 isn't available. The level cap is 60. Um, and yeah, the, uh, the max 
maximum gear tier is 10, and most of my characters are around 9 or 10. Actually, no, it's tier 11 as well, actually. Uh, sorry, what am I on about? Some of my top characters are around that. But anyway, let's go for training day here, which has the requirement... Um, on tier 9 of only cosmic characters as well. So are these going to be our best our best boys here? Do we want, do we want to run a double tank? Maybe. I, I think actually instead of double tank, I think Mordo is going to be much more effective for the crowd control. Because he's so good in arena. Do we want 4? I think we probably want Rocket Raccoon instead of 4. But I don't know, that stunt could be quite valuable. Um, I think Rocket's going to be our best option though, so we're gonna we're gonna trust and go for uh, go for Rocket on this one. But we can also get Groot in the mix actually if uh, we can't freestyle this at some point in the future. However, we're gonna get that Kree Cyborg down. He's definitely our priority target here. Let's slap a blind on him. Awesome. So we managed to blind him and the Kree Oracle. So the Kree Oracle that blind's actually not gonna have like um. Uh, any value at all because he uses regeneration first turn but for the, the double attack there on the cyborg we got we got some decent value there lads not too bad and let's go for the ultimate on Gamora so that's going to give us the additional turn and then we want to go in for uh, Kree's all like start with their ultimate abilities active so it's nothing too bad here uh, do you want to save actually let's just use this fire off on Mordo why not boys let's get going and Yondu's arrow, shall we use it? Yeah, let's go for it. I feel like some nastier stuff is going to come down on the next wave. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Just wanted to get some maximum cleave value there out of Rocket Raccoon. And let's use this additional turn on Gamora, get a bit of damage there. Hopefully get the Reaper down. Unfortunately, we didn't get a second, uh, second double hit there. Summon a couple more Ravengers on Yondu. And... Um, just use this ability to get the Reaper down there, and we're going to save all the uh, all the the big boys now for when the next wave comes down. So we've got Rocket Raccoon's ultimate ready, so that's going to be quite nice. And if we use this additional turn, oh, that Loki needs to die immediately. Oh my goodness! Right, let's heal up Drax here. Ultimate on Rocket Raccoon. Let's get it done. Damn, there are some uh, some beefy boys, right? Hopefully we blind the Reaper in four. Okay, we got the, the blind on the Reaper, so that's some decent value there. But I want to get Loki down, man, before he can mind control. Come on! Yes, okay, Loki's down. And now, who's our priority target? It's it's probably four with that uh, ultimate. It's four and Drax that we want to get down before they can use any of their abilities here. So let's fire off the ultimate here on Mordo. And uh, summon a couple more Ravengers here. Get that, get that damage going and also get the offense up. Use that cleave, get some get some solid value from that. I'm just gonna attack into Drax now. And can we get an additional turn? It's a little bit too risky to gamble for that. And yeah, just getting Drax down as the priority there. Let's use the blind. I think uh Mordo has had some great value. I think he's really got us the free stars on this one. So now we can get even more training modules to add to the pile of training modules that we're never going to catch up on because uh, we're not generating enough gold. So yeah, what a great time, ladies and gentlemen. What a great time. The training module mission, the one that everybody's looking for. So let's go ahead and... Um Auto complete that one as well. Now let's go for the orb fragments one next. I don't even think I even attempted this one actually yesterday. Uh, I might might be incorrect on that one. Yeah, I think this is my first time doing it. So it's only global characters. So let's uh, go ahead and do I want to use Deadpool here? I mean, there's there's quite a few options. I think Iron Man. Maybe I want to go for Full Avengers here, uh, and also Quake. But yeah, there are definitely some team options with the Crossbones, the Deadpool, the Black Panther, the Winter Soldier. Uh, I think, yeah, those are ones to potentially consider if there are like really, really good matchups or scenarios where those characters are going to shine. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into challenge number three today. We're on a good record. Ah, really annoying. Just start off with Doctor Strange here. Uh, so we need to get Strange down, or he's just going to flip our speed ups into a slowdown, and then we're just going to be wrecked. So yeah, let's get him down. Come on. Again, with a taunt on Captain America, just anything I do uh, defense-wise is going to get flipped, and that will just be a very, very bad time there. Iron Man, let's slice these boys all in half. Doctor Strange is down. Now, I need to get... I think Mordo is probably my second um, priority target to deal with that blind. Uh, but then also Scientist Supreme to make sure that the revive doesn't occur. These aim minions, they're not too bad at all. Let's see. Okay, it was only the Iron Man that got affected by the blind there. So that's all right. And we've also slowed down Scientist Supreme now. 
Um, okay, we're just going to use the stun here. I was hoping it would chain on uh, to Scientist Supreme, but we got a lot of bleed value there, so that's fairly decent. Bit of blind value as well from Hawkeye. Some nice stuff there. Let's use the Earthquake. Uh, oh, get nice damage. Very nice damage. Big, nice ultimate there from Iron Man. And this aim security, we're getting through this in no time, but I want to get this Mordo down ASAP, especially while he's got defense down active. But I'm going to aim it here just to hit the most amount of targets. And let's nuke in. Is one more on the Mordo going to do it? Yeah, I just used the Captain America just to finish him off there because I want to get Scientist Supreme down. Let's use the stun. Okay, that stops Doctor Strange 100% from coming back. Now we can slow there and go for the aim assaulter and use the defense up and taunt there and now it's just a case of getting this this final person down this i think this one has been the uh the easiest one by i mean the last one wasn't too bad at all but this one yeah not too bad not too bad at all but you know this these are challenges which don't have the the top uh, really the, the some of the the top the highest tier characters restricted like that one having a full avengers team was awesome there so for the next challenge we managed to get this actually done on three medals yesterday however it was ridiculous ladies and gentlemen we got so lucky it took me so many times uh because this one is a blasters only challenge and it's really really annoying so you can see how dire my team is like rocket raccoon winter soldier 4 they were all about to drop and it was only by miracle that we got a dumb freestyle yesterday. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to show you what this one is like uh, so that you're aware. And this is the team that I found was working the best. I was kind of... um messing about with like Korath and 4 and like changing characters around a little bit but I found like uh, to have like some really really decent value in 4's uh, area of effect especially on this one so that uh, some clutch stuns man definitely uh, helped win the match there but this one starts with a taunted Drax so you gotta blow through him man before he gets to his second turn and then yeah that's uh, that's only part of the fun beginning so I think out of all of them I think this one and maybe the gold one have been some of the most difficult ones okay so we got a nice hit there on cable are we gonna get Drax down okay let's just save the ultimate there Star Lord's gonna hopefully blind no one we got the Iron Man who's now blind and also four so that's a little bit annoying there however we have uh, offense up on Rocket Raccoon so I think we're gonna get some area of effect damage here uh, I want to save Iron Man's ultimate for the next wave because the next wave is um where stuff becomes a little bit problematic uh, so let's use this on Star-Lord so we can move on to the next wave now and Loki and Rocket like they get their turn immediately on this wave Which means the Groot immediately taunts as soon as it happens So we're gonna try and throw force hammer ideally you want that to hit like everyone But unfortunately that didn't happen there It's just trying to get the evade off these mini Lokis because these mini Lokis man are a massive pain in the ass Okay, let's use the air of effect on Iron Man so that gets down the mini Lokis there and Rocky Raccoon, he's looking a little bit dire as well. Oh, and he is down, ladies and gentlemen. You see how the dream of getting this free star just is is so quickly evaporated, and exactly how lucky you need to get. But it's uh, it's it's okay to get through, man. It's okay. I do think this one is you know going to be very very annoying for people that have uh, mid tier rosters at the moment. Okay, let's attack into this vision, get him down. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is that challenge done. I couldn't get a free star medal for you today, but again, it, we'd be here for uh, for quite some time if we did want to get a free star. But hey, there we go, the additional like two advanced basic catalysts, man. This one really, really does add up over time, so it is uh, a good one to try and get done if you can. If you got your blasters up, and then we have the uh, the gold rush one, which we are going to jump back into. So this is only city heroes. I couldn't free star this one last time. This one was actually like ridiculously annoying if I remember correctly so yeah I think these are our best options because there's a bit of area of effect so let's try with this team again so we've got Punisher uh, Night Nurse Spider-Man Dead of All Hand Sentry and yeah a lot of damage at the start and Cable and Deadpool they need to die so quickly I think there's a good chance of you, of you getting free start if Dead of All like chains onto every single opponent right at the start because <laughs> you can get some crazy damage off that man and uh, there is, I think there's a spy, there was something uh, about like a Spider-Man change in the mail the other day. So yeah, hopefully my man Spider-Man is about to get a fat boy buff. Like that is what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let's uh, slow down that Wolverine. I want to stop him from getting his ultimate. 
Um, and can we can we get the best of both worlds here? Uh, I'm trying to kill Deadpool and Wolverine at the same time, but it's very important that um, yeah, Deadpool dies just before he can deal any more damage and gets his uh, his big Ultima scary ability back. Okay, this should soak up Gamora's Ultima and then her next attack as well. So that was an all right use of Kingpin's second one. Again, certainly uh, certainly not potentially the best there. Okay, um, now we need to get this Gamora down now that Thanos' Torn is out of the way. And, oh, we didn't chain on in the right direction there, unfortunately. That Gamora man is just, she's the problem. She is 100% the problem, man. Okay, let's beat that bruiser down. And use the, uh, the evade here. Get my lads in stealth. And I think we should be good for the recovery here. Oh, no. Damn, man. Wolverine's throwing down, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very sorry once again about this uh, this random in-game lag spike. Super, super annoying. Came out again, like in this uh, at this point in the challenge, like the other day as well. So yeah, really, really annoying time. But anyway, let's heal up our Deadpool there. If we can get Punisher down and Wolverine down, I have okay. Punisher's down. Maybe it's Thanos that we want to go for next. Yeah, I, th I think it is Thanos next actually. But I need I need something from Kingpin, and I don't think I'm going to get it in time. If they, I just need them to constantly attack into Kingpin, and that's maybe the one of the only ways that this works well. Oh, Night Nurse is down. Um, okay, let's go for the offense up. I'm not too sure if I should have summoned minions there in hindsight, but Daredevil, I just need him to nuke down that Wolverine. Come on, mate, get him down. Oh, so close. Yet so far, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, come on. Bodyguards, you can do this. One of you has soaked up. Soaked up the ultimate of Wolverine there. Kingpin versus Nebula. I am not hopeful at all for this matchup. Oh my gosh. Maybe this is the hardest one, actually. Yeah. I, th I think the gold one actually might be the hardest one. Right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. R.I.P. The dream, the team, is dead, ladies and gentlemen. They're down. We're going to try one more time at that one, actually. I'm just trying to think about um, kind of good setups that... Sorry, good changes that I could potentially make to the setup to add a little, little bit more oomph. Um, I don't think... I, th I think, like, Spider-Man and uh, also Daredevil are two fairly essential characters. I can get rid of... Let's get rid of Spider-Man and see if, with Jessica Jones, we can get a bit more sustainability. Because that way we can pump uh, more ability energy into potentially Night Nurse, Hand Sentry, or Kingpin. You know, I just want to try something a little bit different here, just to see if it works out. But again, we are losing damage, and leaving that Gamora up for too long, uh, I feel like could be a bit of an issue. But hey, let's... Uh, do you want to throw out the ability energy just yet? There's nobody that's really going to super benefit for it, so I'm going to wait one more turn because I'm going to use the ultimate of like uh, you know hand sentry and also kingpin. Let's also keep uh, Jessica Jones topped up with night nurse right at the start here, and let's use the ultimate on kingpin here. And unfortunately, we didn't get the bonus attack, which is a little bit uh, annoying there. But now we're going to check out ability energy on Jessica Jones and fire in that single shot on Cable just so he can't get to his ultimate now. And let's hopefully get two attacks on Daredevil, and unfortunately not there. Summon a couple of, a couple of bruises, a couple of bodyguards, take care of business. And uh, I'm going to try attacking into Punisher here. Let's get the uh, the regeneration up. And is that wonderful lag? I, I don't think we got full lag yet, but we do have like reduced uh, frame rate for sure. Okay, hopefully this chains onto Wolverine and Punisher, uh, but it didn't. Just more waves came down, more enemies. Okay, I'm hoping this lag bypasses soon. Uh, okay, so we've got Mercenary Bodyguard and Thanos for the Torn. I think we'll go for Mercenary Bodyguard because he's a lot easier to get down than Thanos. Let's attack in single target here. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry about this uh, absolutely horrendous to look at lag spike that you are subjugated to at the moment. I wish there was a magical way for me to tell when they're going to happen or make it disappear. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's uh, get rid of Gamora's um, ultimate there, and let's see if we can attack in and get her down. It's one more hit. There we go. Yes, boys. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We're looking in a, a much, much better state to finish this one, but 
I think that, that three star dream, again, is a, a little bit out of the way there. My gosh, we've got free ability energy in Daredevil, which isn't really where we needed the ability energy, to be fair. I need it in, in Night Nurse, man. I need that regeneration back right now. Uh, okay, let's get Thanos down next, because he's just going to taunt up. There we go, we got the regeneration. I think Daredevil's making a comeback. I reckon we can do this. Unless we get a really bad ultimate on Wolverine, which snipes our Daredevil, and then we might be in a, a little bit of trouble there. But let's go. We're taking this Thanos down. Come on, Daredevil. Up a little bit more. Couple of bodyguards here. And I don't I'm I don't think Thanos has his ultimate. He might do actually. No, no, no. He's good. He's good. Okay, let's dispel. I should have probably funneled more ability energy in there. But uh yeah, Jessica Jones actually helped um sustain to a decent level there. And did I did I hear something as well about like a potential Jessica Jones buff? I don't know, man. I'd love to love to see more changes to JJ though. That'd be super cool to see. Okay, a bit more regeneration there. But you can see just how um, how well she's playing off of Night Nurse. And I think if we maybe add a little bit better luck, we could have freestyled this one. Because you can tell, like, right at the end, we're coming back. We are at a very, very decent sustained level here. So let's double attack him with the Nebula. And uh, let's get rid of all of her buffs. And uh, go in one more time with Daredevil. Double shot. And there we go. Not too bad. Uh, this one, I think this one is definitely possible to free start. It's just, you know, a massive RNG fiesta. So yeah, we're going to get around to it at some point, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, let's go for the final challenge now, which is the medical supply run, which uh, half edited out my video the other day, and I was super, super sour about. Uh, but now we've got it, ladies and gentlemen. The dream team here, Night Nurse and four pretty kick-ass damage dealers. Uh, I don't know whether or not to bring maybe like Daredevil instead of Spider-Man. Actually, I think we had Spider-Man for the stun on this one, if I remember correctly. But this Kree Reaper uh, needs to die ASAP. And we're not going to use the stun first phase. I think that was a rookie mistake that we made with Spider-Man. So we're going to save Spider-Man's stun because that's super valuable. So let's see if we can get down this uh, Kree Noble. Uh, get our Gamora healed up. We're going to save that ultimate. Because, again, we just went the Ravenger Bruiser and Ronan are up. Like, we don't have too much to worry about there. It's attacking. Come on. Can we get this Kree Noble down? Oh, ability blocked. Man, we've had some terrible RNG. They just all attacked into Gamora. Mate, denied of that free star there. Oh, well, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can finish this one, ladies and gentlemen. We've only got one minion summon here, but we have time to get all the abilities off cooldown. Just jumping into this Ronin, I would imagine. Shouldn't be too bad. Should we just regen, top off? We'll have like one more turn with Night Nurse as well before the next wave, so it should time well. If I can summon another Ravenger before the final wave, that would be great, but it doesn't look like it. So let's focus on Cable. Um, and can we apply slow to Cable? Unfortunately not is the answer to that one. Our Ravenger is down, and um, who do I want to? Who, who's got the highest value stun for the turn one? Let's just let's let's stun Cable, just because he is uh, pretty damn annoying to deal with. There's a good, there's some really really good stun value there on Deadpool potentially as well. Both uh, both pretty decent options. We're gonna summon on Ravengers. Oh man, somebody is. I think I'm pronouncing Rav Raven. Avenger? What? Oh, gosh. Somebody, I need to, I need to look it up, man. I've seen a few people say in the comments, being like, Scene, you're saying that wrong, man. You're saying that wrong. Saw your pronunciation out, mate. You're meant to be a Marvel fan. <laughs> Don't know if that was a little bit of overkill there, potentially. But I think we're in a decent standing to at least get this done um, at a, at a one-star level. Okay, let's attack him with... Uh, Deadpool there, finish off the Daredevil, and what's, oh my gosh, laid into my Yondu there. Oh, luckily we can counter with some regeneration, get a couple more of these, uh, these lads in. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and mispronounce the name there, and trigger even more people in the comments section. Um, yeah, I maybe should have used that regeneration first turn as well, because we weren't really dealing much damage attacking into that. Ravager, Raven, Ravager, Ravager, Ravager. Maybe there's no N. I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm taking the N out of nowhere. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the um uh the final challenge there. So yeah, I think uh definitely like the well maybe not this one, but I think definitely the gold one and also 
the uh, Catalyst of Change with the Blasters. I think those two, man, are definitely some of the most annoying ones to deal with. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching today's Tier 9 Challenge video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciate it. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and have an absolutely fantastic day.